Good morning, just getting to work this morning and wanted to quickly jump on and say good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, it's Patrick here again, live from Complete Health, and I just wanted to just wanted to discuss the idea or, or a concept that I was having a conversation with with another chiropractor this week, which is the the idea of homeostasis versus allostasis. Now, a lot of people have heard of the term uh, homeostasis because they would have studied it during biology when they were at school. But a lot of people will never have heard the word allostasis. Now, let me explain a little bit about what both is and why both of them are super, super, super important. Now, homeostasis, the idea of homeostasis is about our body trying to keep constant balance. So when we look at homeostatic control in our body, we have both our sympathetic and our parasympathetic nervous system, and they are essentially our upregulators or... Oh, I'm still here. Good. So there are upregulators or our downregulators. Now, if we look at those, uh, those concepts, say, for example, if we look at something like heart rate, we can look at heart rate and our variability. But the idea of homeostasis is that we want to keep a constant. So there's a level. We don't want our heart rate to drop too low and we don't want our heart rate to spike up too much, which is great. And the idea of keeping constant all the time is brilliant. But the reality of it is, is that we need to have that ability to spike up and down. Now, when we expose ourselves to stresses, which almost everyone on the planet is exposed to some level of stress at some point, everyone is exposed to some level of stress at some point, and our body needs to be able to adapt. Now, this is the term allostasis. Now, if allostasis is working correctly, then our body should be able to adapt to stress. So assuming our nerve system is working properly and it's sending the right signals and we are exposed to a stressor, e.g. if a saber-toothed tiger walked in to your office and your body did not respond in an allostatic way, you essentially would sit there, look at the tiger and go, meh. And if you said meh, to the tiger, then all of a sudden you are going to become the easiest lunch that that tiger has ever seen. So the point of stress is it is there for a reason. Now, when we look at chiropractic, we love looking at uh, the, the sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system, because when we start looking at stuff like the parasympathetics and when we start actually adjusting people's bodies and seeing the changes, that's really the system that we're seeing work a lot harder is that parasympathetic nervous system because that's really the system that helps people to heal. So we want to drive people into these allostatic responses because if we can drive people into those responses, we can actually use our body's own nerve system and systems in order to help. Like I say, say for example, if you are injured and your body was in homeostasis, which is complete balance, is complete balance your body would not produce the hormones the blood cells the clotting factors in order to allow those tissues to heal so the idea of homeostasis is constant balance the idea of allostasis is our ability to adapt and like i say the more we expose ourselves to certain stresses and by the way there are both good and bad stresses going and doing exercise would be considered stressful for your body but is that a negative stress Doing something like eating a good diet would stress our body in a completely different way. Eating lots of fiber stresses our digestive system. We have to work harder to break that down. But because of breaking those things down, it actually helps to aid our digestive system to produce certain chemicals such as bile, which is really good for helping to reduce our cholesterol. So there are benefits to having different types of stress. Now, what we want is our body to be able to adapt. And this is where chiropractic is really good at understanding those things. And sometimes actually just explaining to people that not all stress is bad. We need to put some levels of stress on our body so our body can learn to adapt. Fingers crossed you've learned something again today. Uh, The allostasis system, the allostasis system is controlled by your parasympathetic and your sympathetic nervous system. What what chiropractors are always looking to do in order to drive that healing response, we want to get your parasympathetics working properly, but we need to help you and teach you ways that you can actually drive these systems as well so we can make your body work the best we possibly can. 
learn how to adapt, go and have a, a great day. Our bodies are all going to be adapting to this beautiful weather because it's getting very cold. So our bodies are going to have to learn to adapt again soon. So we will see you in the clinic soon. If you've got any questions, any of this stuff, I would love to hear from them. Just send us a private message or comment below. Uh, I'm happy to explain this in a little bit more detail or equally, you can just jump over to our YouTube channel. There's tons more information about stuff like homeostasis, staying constant, adaptability and stress. Speak to you guys again tomorrow. Take care.